Hello guys! So the first major in CS2 was like a long-awaited blast. What really added to the hype of this tournament was the element of surprise, cause there wasn't a clear favorite, you know? In the initial stage only like 10% of the pass buyers made the right pick'em. But yo, the biggest shocker was the Navi taking the win in this tournament, despite everyone predicting their exit after each stage. The star of the show was Justin as J.L. Likavishes, if I pronounce that right. This major marked his first big win and bam, he snatched the MVP title right away, so I thought I'd show you his setup. But before we dive in, don't forget to hit that grey button down below and smash that like button. And watch the video till the end so you don't miss out on the dope settings of the best player of Copenhagen's major. But let's check out his gear and settings first. Dude's rocking a Razer Death Hatter V3 Pro Black for his mouse. Sense wise, he's rolling with 800 dpi, which is kinda unusual for other pros, and in game, his zoom sensitivity is set to 1. For headphones, he's using a Logitech G Pro X2 headset in magenta, and here's his sound settings in game. EQ profile, natural. This preset keeps the sounds raw, no fancy processing. Left and right isolation, 0%. So you get a strong sense of left versus right. Perspective correction, yes. This makes sure sounds from the edges of your field of view are panned sharply to the left or right, respectively. So JL rocks the classic 1280 to 960 resolution, just like simple monocy device in Zeivu, straight up classic. His monitor is the Zoe XL 2566K, a standard choice for all the pro gamers out there. It can go up to 360Hz, but he sticks with 240 to keep things consistent whether he's gaming at home or in tournaments. Brightness is cranked up to 110. Boost player contrast is off. This setting adds a black outline around models, helping to spot them from afar or in dark areas of the map. Vertical sync disabled. This setting ties FPS to the monitor's refresh rate. If it's on and your monitor's at 60Hz, your FPS won't go above 60. Multi-sampling anti-aliasing mode. 4x MSAA. Smooth out the image for a more pleasant viewing experience. Global shadow quality is high, gives a significant advantage by making shadows react to any light source, allowing you to spot opponents before they even show up. Model and texture detail is a medium, only affects texture quality, which doesn't give any advantage but enhances the visual aspect of the game. Texture filtering mode, antisotrophic 4x, similar to the previous parameter, it only affects texture quality. Shader detail is high enhances the quality of effects like Molotov flames. Particle detail low, doesn't offer any advantage in visuals, so it's set to low to maintain FPS. Ambient occlusion, disabled, adds realism to the image by calculating light intensity. High dynamic range, performance, controls the brightness range between the brightest and darkest pixels. Fidelity FX super resolution, disabled, highest quality. Nvidia reflex low latency, enabled, Reduces system latency, increasing PC response speed. The boost mode activates method that can draw more power to the graphics processor and slightly affects FPS to minimize latency. When it comes to Nvidia settings, he showcased his 3D graphics settings in one of his live streams. You can see them on the screen right now. If you're too slow, feel free to pause the video to jot down all these settings. Now let's move on to his crosshair settings. They tend to change a lot, like for everyone, but he used this setup in the last tournament. Crosshair color 1, style 4, size 1.4, thickness 0.7, gap minus 2.8, dot 0. This is how it looks in game. I'll leave the code for his crosshair in the video description. Out of all previous videos on pro player settings, JL was the first one whose hand settings weren't standard. Specifically, view model field of view 68, view model offset X 2, view model offset Y 2, view model offset Z minus 1.5. These hands differ from standard ones because they are stretched forward and not shifted as much to the right. And finally, what you might need from his settings is his rather. Radar centers the player, yes. Radar is rotating, yes. Radar hut size, 1. 
rather map zoom, 0.4, and toggle shape with scoreboard, yes. So these are the settings JL uses. Summing up, he doesn't fuss too much over max FPS, but rather focuses on a pleasant picture. Remember, copying his settings won't make you play like him, because you need to adjust the game to yourself. This video just helps you find some useful settings and general trends. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more interesting content. See you soon, bye bye!